Okay, been a minute, huh? Well, you know, it's, it's definitely been a winter and lots of crazy work, but we are out here. We're out here on the land and we're looking for spring food. <laughs> and if you can't hear the excitement in my voice, well, you're just outright deaf. And, you know, no offense to anybody who's deaf, but I'm saying I'm excited. <laughs> um, so I, we just came across this massive patch of nettle. And you're like, what? I don't, I don't see a massive patch of nothing. But it's kind of like, you ever heard the term mushroom eyes? Um, as soon as you see one, all of a sudden you can see them all. So look, right here. Right here is a little baby stinging nettle. And it's been cold, so she's kind of purple. And some people get thrown off by that when they're out to gather spring nettles because they're looking for these green things they've seen pictures of. But she's actually going to be purple when it's pretty cold out. Now, let me grab this camera from my other half. And, um show you exactly where she is. So she's right there, she's right there, she's pushing up from right there, and she's, let me get, stand up, and she's there, and there, and there, and there, and there, and the whole way. It, this is gonna be, you would not walk through this field um, in the next three months when she's, tall enough to take your eye out. Um, but these little baby nettles are the best for eating. Um, I like to tincture them when they're this small. They're nice and potent. Um, but mainly, I'm going to be just eating nettle like crazy tonight. So let me give the camera back to the other half. And um, I can jabber about why you want to be eating nettle. Now, I've done a video... Um, well, fall down. I've done a video about um, nettle before where I was talking about like the medicinal properties and like um, seeds and things you can do with her. Right now I'm just going to straight up talk about eating nettle. Nettle will sting you if you eat it raw. You have to cook it or dry it to utilize it. But she doesn't actually sting you. She's got these little hairs that throw a type of acid that cause um, almost like a little allergic reaction on your skin and it, it doesn't feel great. Some people don't feel it, some people do. I get asked all the time, um, how do you touch nettle without getting stung? Very gently. Like, I can do this without getting stung and I can go upward. And if I felt like it, I could take my fingernails and I could pinch off that nettle stem. But honestly, the best way is to put a pair of gloves on and use some scissors. Um, there's no, like, magical chant or anything <laughs> to do to stop these plants from stinging you. Just put a pair of gloves on um, because um, even though you can like use that that particular um, part of her to help th with things like arthritis and stuff you don't want to be doing that all day long like your hands will suffer you'll have like a legit allergic reaction and you'll be in a lot of pain um, so anyhow when it comes to eating her she is a powerhouse of nutrition she literally has more nutrition than blue green algae and that's that's a massive statement if you know anything about algae um, she's got great levels of iron if you are anemic um, or if you have um, um, if you have like drained adrenaline fatigue if you're suffering from anxiety a lot of that really wraps up together she is fantastic for that my favorite way is just to dice her up and then I usually cook her in like some savory oatmeal or I'm sauteing her at her and she's just a green she has a fantastic flavor and you're thinking wait a minute you got me drinking nettle infusion and I hate the taste of nettle infusion some people say that, you know, usually you're not letting it go long enough and there's a bunch of tips there to make it better. However, I want you to know that fresh baby nettle tastes nothing like nettle infusion. It doesn't. It's savory flavor. It's amazing. People make chocolate cakes out of it. Like it's, yeah, you can make nettle into chocolate cake. You can do all kinds of things. So this is stinging nettle and she's definitely one of the first spring foods that are out and about. And she grows just about anywhere in the world. She's very invasive. She's not native here to the United States. And she just goes everywhere. But she's like my best plant friend. And I, I say that about every plant. I realize that. But if I had to pick one that was like my legit friend and saves my life on a regular basis, nettle, nettle, nettle all day long. So 
I'm going to get to harvest them because I'm going to eat this for dinner tonight. Um, I hope you know that you are smart enough to get out here and do this. You don't need to pay somebody thousands of dollars to teach you. Just get out, get curious, and start finding these first things that are popping up during spring and start just getting to know the plants that are around you in your own home. You don't need to go out to different quarters of the world for healing. Look at what's growing in your own backyard. All right, so um, take a second to subscribe, turn on notifications, like, comment, all that kind of stuff because it helps other people, you know, see the video, it lets me know that you're watching, um, things like that. Oh, and then um, head over to the link in my bio, find me on Instagram, website, shop, all that kind of stuff I'm supposed to say. <laughs> so thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.